everyone, it's Irene. So I'm super excited because today I have a new doll with me. She's not American Girl brand, I promise. Um, so anyways, um, I've been wanting and might as well tell you what brand it is. Sabrina is here. So yeah, if you're wondering. I got our generation doll. Her name is Jovi. She's really cute. Um, I've been wanting an our generation doll for a super long time. And me and my cousin recently went to my aunt's bakery to sell calendars. Don't worry, we have permission. Um, so I used some of the money I made selling calendars to get this girl. She was $20, and I am super excited to have her. I loved her eyes because they were like the super vibrant green, and I thought her bangs were really cute. She came in these cute bunny PJs as well. So yeah, none of, me, none of the or most of the art generation clothes I have actually don't fit my AG dolls, unfortunately. So I'm happy that I finally have an art generation doll that way those clothes don't go to waste. So let's open her up. I probably can't see her right now, but she has a lot of like little zip ties and things. So I should actually cut those and then show you guys. So be right back. I cut her free, but her boots are really fuzzy and there's a zip tie and that really blends in. So a lot of the fur is falling off her boots and I hate it when they put zip ties. Like just put rubber bands. I know it increases stealing, but be like American Girl, put a plastic in front that makes everything harder to get out. But the zip ties just make everything harder, so it's going to be a while before I actually get her, like, opened out of the box. Her, I got her feet free, but her neck zip tie is so annoying, and my scissors are leaving scratches on her neck because I cannot get the zip tie undone. So if our generation or, and, ooh, my hair is messy. If anybody from our generation here is watching this, please take my advice. I know I'm a small channel, but just please listen. Please do not put zip ties. That makes everything harder. Put a rubber band or an elastic like American Girl and plastic in the front of the box. That way nobody can steal it. Because right now my scissors are currently stuck by her neck and leaving scratches. So this is just making everything harder. It's not like American Girl. You can just go to the back of the box and undo it. So put plastic on the front and use elastic. Trust me, it'd be so much easier. Ten minutes. Her neck is undone. So first she comes with this cute little really long tie. Bunny. He's cute. I'll probably put him on all my bitty baby beds because little child is for the AG dolls. And, and also, may I just say this? While trying to unbox her, I got various scratches on my hand from the sharp zip tie. So another thing to keep in mind. Um, so here she is. She is so pretty. Oh my god, I already love at her. So... Here's her face. She's got these bright green, and her hair even got a little bit frizzy on me. Um, she's got these big bright green eyes, which are literally so pretty. And then this hair, it's like blonde, but it looks blonde on the camera. But in real life, it's actually a sort of like strawberry blonde. Um, and then she comes with this super cute little bunny shirt. It has like gold clouds and a bunny. It's long sleeve. I would definitely be hot in this if I was wearing this. It's just saying, girl. Her name is Jovi. Yes, sorry. These long pants they have like a pattern on them too and these cute fuzzy boots which are just shedding fluff by the second because the zip ties were super hard to cut so i did end up cutting off oh my god i'm covered in this fluff right now but yeah shedding lots of fluff she has the our generation neck stamp you can see that i wonder if they come with underwear <gasps> they do i wasn't expecting that they come with underwear so here she is. I think she is super adorable. Ooh, there's a, something in there. Another zip tie by her, not zip tie, like a little plastic thingy by her foot. Gonna have to cut that. She is so adorable. I would definitely recommend an our generation doll. Their eyes do open and close, which is great because no offense to me, Kella and Kelsey, my journey girl dolls. Um, their eyes do not close. They're kind of like the whole time and it's a little creepy sorry if i creeped you guys out but i kind of like them because their eyes can open and close they do not show their teeth but neither do journey girls they're just kind of like and their lips are empty so i usually paint the teeth in but that's just me um yeah she's super cute i love her eyelashes like they're spread apart really pretty just like the journey girls very cute outfits i saw their new release i looked at target didn't find anything sadly have to check next time. But yeah, I'm probably going to change her into more summery clothing because this is not exactly the most summery outfit. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love every single one of you and I hope every single one of you has a very nice day. And I will be doing a 500 giveaway, so let's hit 500 soon. Now you can do that. I'm really excited. I've been on here for almost seven years, so let's hit 500. Um, 
I've been doing this since I was six, currently 12. Six years about. This, I think October will be my seventh year on YouTube, so pretty awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye.